Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, and welcome to our session. Today, we're going to be talking about doing more with less and improving SAP master data processes with Excel to SAP automation. This particular session is the first in a series that we are doing for agility and resiliency uh, around SAP processes, and hopefully you'll get a much better understanding of how we can help drive efficiencies for you in this highly disrupted marketplace. I'm Andrew Hayden. I'm the Senior Product Marketing Manager for our Automate products here at Precisely, and I will be your host today. Uh, in a little while, I will also be showing you a demonstration that was created by one of our outstanding sales engineers at Sigrid Coke. She's actually one of our principal engineers. So once you see what the product can do, I think you'll have a much greater appreciation for how automation and especially Excel to SAP automation can drive greater efficiencies in your organization. One real quick thing before we get started. Um, many of you in the SAP community may not be familiar with Precisely, um, but there's a very good chance you are familiar with Windshuttle. In 2021, Precisely acquired Windshuttle. So we've brought our SAP automation expertise that we've spent 20 years developing to the world's leading portfolio of data integrity product. And I think as we go through this presentation, you'll have a much better appreciation for how automation can contribute to your data integrity efforts. So let's get started. You know, since 2003, when we started this business, we've been all about empowering business teams to make an impact. We believe very firmly that getting automation and getting the development of automation closer to really the people who own the data and own the processes makes it a more effective way to build and develop an automation strategy. And especially now with hyper automation coming in where you're looking to have more solution or more citizen developers and drive automation across your entire organization. It's a really important point. And as we go through this, and as you see what we can do with Automate Studio, you'll have a much better appreciation for how we can be a core part of that hyper automation effort. Over the past few years, as we've seen a lot of disruptions happen in the marketplace, and as we've, we've looked at what are some of the struggles and challenges that companies have, we've really identified three core needs that our customers are seeing and that, that we're really going to talk about today. And as we look at those needs, we're going to start with the first one, which is agility. And, and I know that's actually the title of this series, because it's really important, I think, for companies to be able to change and move and pivot and adjust their business when there is a disruption in the marketplace. Now, we've, we've seen this over the past few years, but they continue. And you know, 2020, when the pandemic hit, really exposed kind of the limitations of our digital transformation efforts up to now. We believe very firmly that automation is one of the key ways to gain the agility you need in that marketplace and gain the ability to change and pivot when there is a disruption. And we're going to talk through some of that today, and, and hopefully you get a better sense, sense of that. Another need that companies have is to go faster. Our, our business environment is constantly accelerating. It is, it is going faster. And in order to maintain a competitive advantage or gain a competitive advantage, you need to be able to go faster in addition to being agile. You know, we understand that need. And again, it's something that you can gain through automation. And, and we'll show you some examples of how companies have gained significant advantage and, and significant speed in their uh, organization and in their SAP processes by adopting automation. And also, as you gain that agility, you need to respond to disruptions in the marketplace and you're able to go faster and accelerate your business. It's a very important that you're also able to improve the quality and integrity of your most important data. And, and in our case, what we're talking about is SAP master data. It's also really important to keep in mind the interdependence of process and data. You know, one of the big criticisms of a lot of, of early automation initiatives is People were driving efficiencies and, and really speeding up processes, but they weren't looking at the data that that process was creating and managing. And if that process created and was creating and managing bad data to begin with, and you make it more efficient, what you end up doing is creating a lot of bad data very, very quickly. And that's really bad for business. So keep in mind this interdependence of process and data. If you're going to do a process improvement initiative, make sure you fully understand what data that process is creating and managing. And the same thing is true if you're looking at a data quality initiative. You know, if, if all you're focused on is improving the quality of the data you have in your data lakes and databases and, and throughout your systems, but you're not looking at the processes that create and manage that data, you're going to eternally be doing data quality initiatives. So you really need to look at that interdependence and, and look at the, the way that your processes drive your, the quality of your data throughout. And 
I think HFS said it very well a few years ago when they said technology is a means to an end, but data is the currency of digital transformation. So what we're really looking at with automation is how do you use that data and how do you use those processes and the technology that can improve those processes to really drive your ability to make intelligent and, and confident decisions with the data you have in your systems. And another thing we've come to recognize over the years is there's a complexity challenge that goes along with automation. If you think about it on these two axes, you've got the volume of data that you're moving through a process and you've got the complexity of that process. And if you've got a low volume, low complexity process, chances are you're never going to automate it. It doesn't make any sense because you're never going to get the return on that investment. The high complexity, high volume processes we found tend to be very specific to an organization. So that's going to be a custom process, a custom project that you're probably going to do as a big IT project. You're going to go out and hire a solutions or a systems integrator. And, and that's the way those are handled. But everything in between is where the Precisely Automate platform can come in and help you. Because we've done these complex data intensive SAP processes, and we understand that there is that balance between the volume of data and the complexity you're going to work through them. But we've also built a platform that can really manage all that. And what that really leads you to is the need for a complete automation platform. Today, we're going to focus on that data automation side of it. And that data automation side in our world is the Excel to SAP and being able to exchange data between Excel and SAP very, very simply and very, very quickly. And it's great for things like mass data processes. So we'll talk about a few more of these. But if you think about those big data processes where you've got to either create a lot of data or change a lot of data very, very quickly, data automation is perfect for that. Also, the complete automation platform includes process automation. So in our world, process automation comes in two flavors. It's Excel workflow and it's form and workflow. Excel workflow can take those data automation files and manage them through a complex workflow. Form and workflow allows you to use business-friendly forms to manage a highly complex process that often involves multi multiple constituents throughout your organization. So we're not going to talk about process automation today, but just know that that is a continuation of the data automation that we're going to work with. And the Precisely Automate platform consists of these two primary components. One is Automate Evolve. And Automate Evolve is that uh, process automation and workflow, workflow and orchestration engine, essentially, that allows you to do that Excel workflow and that, that uh, form and workflow work. Highly complex processes, data intensive processes are exactly what it's made for. And again, we've done this for a very long time and we understand the complexity of those processes. So let's talk a little bit more about Automate Studio. Automate Studio gives you the right set of capabilities to get SAP work done fast and improve your overall data quality. Uh, I mentioned that it's perfect for mass data creation and update processes using Excel. It has integrated data stewardship throughout it has deep SAP integration. As I mentioned, we've done this since 2003. So we've got 20 years of experience and we have patented integration technology with SAP. So we know how these processes work. And this is all delivered in a low code, no code environment. When we talk about citizen developers and being able to get the development of those automations closer to the business and, and closer to the people who know the process and know the data, Studio is an outstanding product for that. So what can you do with Automate Studio? Well, you can automate virtually any SAP business process. Um, some are better than others, but it is perfect, again, for those mass data processes. You can also streamline data migration and conversions. Um, it, often we see this in M&A situations where you've got now multiple uh, SAP systems needing to move data from one to another, or you're moving data from another system into SAP, and you're using Excel to make a lot of those data conversions. And then finally, creating operational reports is another area, and, and Sigurd will show you some of that. And when we talk about automating any SAP business process, we're talking about any SAP business process. We talked about mass, mass data changes. So things like mass pricing changes, um, automating the, the management of sales orders, invoicing, plant maintenance, and the complexity that goes with plant maintenance, especially when you've got so many consumables and, and uh, small parts that need to be moved in and out of, of SAP and that data, it's constantly in motion. Personnel updates in HR, journal entries in finance. You know, your, your accountants are almost always working in Excel and they want to continue to work in Excel and this allows them to do that. And then those complex master data creation and maintenance processes that we have, which 
especially if it's a mass data creation and maintenance process for your master data, can be extremely complicated and, and really daunting for a team to do. And Studio is a way to significantly simplify that and, and streamline and drive efficiencies into those processes. Now, one of the key areas that we see often with our customers is in the area of streamlining customer and vendor onboarding and maintenance. And this is what Sigrid's going to show you in her demonstration. So you can quickly create a customer or vendor master uh, records. You can speed through mass updates. You can really improve the overall data quality through our data integrated data stewardship. And just as an example, we have a large global oil and gas company who is able to cut the time that it takes to create uh, one of their customers from 144 hours to six hours using the Automate platform. So there's a lot of benefits you can get, and, and we're going to show you what those benefits look like now. So I'm going to turn it over to Sigrid now, and she is going to show you what Automate Studio can do to drive efficiencies through your organization and give you a better sense of how the product works. Hello, my name is Sigrid Koch. I'm a principal solution engineer, and I'd like to walk through the custom update process. For the agenda, we'll cover the top 10 use cases for finance where Customer Master fits in. We'll look at customer updates through two different perspectives, one from the author of the automation and also from the business user consumes the automation. We'll look at potential savings that our customers have obtained, where to find examples, and then a quick wrap up. Here are the top 10 use cases for finance, and there's a number of transactional and master data ones, and in here you'll see customer crate and also customer update. It's a higher volume here and a higher volume of users, but all of them have lots of savings versus manual time processing and lots of days saved, automating this through Studio. The steps to update or create anything in SAP can be long. Here for update customer, there's a large number of screens that someone has to walk through to do this manually, as well as some subscreens and additional pop-ups. Our customers prefer to have a business-friendly tool like Excel to be able to interact with SAP and process those automations. Now, from our business author side, we have three different modules as part of Studio Transaction to be able to automate those SAP transactions you might have to otherwise manually walk through. Query to extract data out of the backend system. This would be live data for either operational reports or to extract prior to updating. And then also direct, which allows you to automate SAP BAPIs or remote enabled function modules, which are SAP programs, and there's lots and lots of them, and it's a very efficient way to interact with SAP. Today we'll cover transaction. So from the author experience, there's three steps. Record, the, in this case, the transaction, map the fields to Excel, and then we'll run. Let's take a look. So here I am in Studio, and I'll click on Transaction and Record. We'll log into my SAP system, which is typically non-production, and type in the transaction code to update. Start the recording. So here you'll notice there's a pop-up for my customers. I'll go ahead and select my customer, enter company, sales, or distribution channel and division. And then I simply have to overtype or enter values in the fields I want to capture. So we'll just go ahead and overtype some of the address fields. And it can include fields that also don't have values like phone and email. Then we can go to uh, sections like company code. We might want to update the payment terms. I'll go ahead and overtype that one. And we might want to go to sales area data. This one is missing some pricing information. Shipping for delivery priority and potentially billing for payment terms. A, a tip is to always go back to general data. So we start from the same place, but that's it. Walk through the T code, make the adjustments and click save. And I've now completed very quickly and easily the recording step of the process. Now for the second step, we're going to map. So we have the fields we've captured as long, along with message fields here. So these are all the fields that I captured. I can simply drag down the messages and then we'll go ahead and take all of the fields that we captured for input and select all of them and we'll start that in column C. So I'll drag from Excel up to row three, let go, and it maps everything that I captured in the order that I captured it. And you'll see that everything now is mapped for uh, upload. 
I could add a lot of additional features, but this is all I need. So from here on the third step, all I can do as a developer, add a couple of rows, validate and run, and then publish it to embed it in the Excel file. That's it, quick, quick and easy. So now from the business author's perspective, how will they consume these automations to update customers? And in this case, multiple customers be able to look up values directly from SAP if they need help filling it in, ensure that the data is correct and complete, reprocess errors if there are any, and basically allow managers to, to manage that data that they're responsible for. So let's take a look. So here I am as a business user in Excel, and we have an add-in. I've already logged in. I'm going to log into my SAP system where I want to make the updates. And I have a ribbon here where I can interact with SAP, look at values, and so forth. I first want to check the data. That's what we call validate. It simply fills in the SAP screen and checks to see that all of the data is complete and correct. And if we get success, that means the data is good. So we get the count here. So now we'll go ahead and post. And this is using my SAP credentials, so I have permission to do customer updates. Otherwise, I couldn't run it. And SAP is logging that I changed this customer master record. Let's take a look in SAP. So go ahead and update the customer, open the customer master record. You'll see we have the address data. We went over to the sales area data, made some updates, and the company data. In this case, we updated payment terms. So that's it, simple and easy, all from Excel. Our customers have derived a lot of savings using Studio to automate customer master tasks, and you'll see a number of them for, including create, change, block, mark for deletion, and so forth. We'll see that a large number of the records uploaded and Dave saved comes from changing customer master. Very popular automation. There are further opportunities to update customer master processes, including extracting the data before doing an update, adding things like bank details and payment information, extensions for company or for sales org, adding things like customer material info records, credit master pricing, and so forth. Consider using Studio Manager or Evolve if you want to execute those automations on a server or schedule them to run overnight or on the weekends. And for business process automation, consider using Evolve, which will allow you to establish a best practice process, collect and approve data prior to loading it. If you want to learn more, you can go to our community site. This is a place where you'll be able to find example automations here under Studio Templates, and there are a number of them for Customer Master. You can also post questions and topics and get ex expert advice from employees and customers. You can access online training there, which is also linked here in the resources. And you can share your experience as it grows. Thank you. So hopefully now you have a much better idea of how Automate Studio can drive efficiencies through those mass data processes. And one thing to remember about Automate Studio is you can use it across your entire SAP landscape. So it's not just limited to one part of your organization. So you can implement it initially, say, in finance, but then apply it to you know, master data, your sales and distribution, materials management, plant maintenance, you name it. Anywhere in your SAP environment that you're dealing with these mass data processes or dealing with some of these just annoying data maintenance processes, Automate Studio is perfect for that. And finally, with Automate Studio, you are able to achieve more with less. Hopefully you've seen a great demonstration and understand that a little bit better. You can drive business results and accelerate your digital transformation efforts you can get work done significantly faster. Uh, as I mentioned, you know, 144 hours down to six. And we often see that happen within our customers, 90% reduction in the amount of time it takes to do a process or 90% total savings is not unusual for us to see across an SAP environment. That improved data quality through that integrated data stewardship is there. Uh, better data or better process governance is something that we believe very firmly is, is super important to helping your business, especially when it comes to audits and things of that nature. You can have happier employees. You know, one of the things Studio is, is really well respected for is its ability to give time back to employees and let them do more value-added work. Um, it takes them out of being, frankly, data entry clerks. 
especially when you've got people like accountants and your master data professionals, they, they want to spend more time understanding and managing the data they've got rather than just spending time and entering it into SAP. You can make an impact at scale. We work with many of the largest organizations in the world and we work across their entire organizations and we work across entire SAP landscapes. So I think that's very important when you think about how automation can affect your organization and, and some of the benefits it can drive. And finally, you want to get to value quickly at a low total cost of automation. Studio is a great way to start that. So hopefully you have a much better sense of how Precisely Automate can help you and especially through our, our Precisely Automate Studio. Uh, can help you drive automation across your organization and efficiencies throughout your SAP processes. A little bit more about Precisely, as I mentioned, we are the leader in data integrity, which means we give you the accurate, consistent, and contextualized data you need to make competent business decisions. Uh, we've got about 12,000 customers worldwide in over 100 countries. We're in 99 of the Fortune 100, and we've got about 2,500 employees. Now, Many of the leading brands in the world trust us with their data. And hopefully after this demonstration, you will trust us with your SAP data. And on top of that, we have partnerships with many of the leading technology providers in the world. And let's definitely continue this conversation. Uh, if you want to learn more, you can go to Precisely.com and look in the solutions section under SAP Process Automation. And there you can find more demonstrations and case studies and white papers to give you a better sense for how we can help your organization and, and you improve the efficiencies of your SAP processes. However, if you have a specific idea in mind or a need in mind, get in touch with us directly and we'll set up a 30-minute call to really understand what your need is and demonstrate how we can help drive efficiencies through those SAP processes in your organization. You can do that either through the get in touch uh, button on precisely.com, or you can call us directly. And finally, I just wanna thank everybody for being here. I, I know your time is valuable and we very much appreciate that you are spending it with us. I hope that this has been valuable for you. And uh, once again, this was the first in a series of three and hopefully you will join us for the next two. Thank you very much for being here. And uh, I hope everyone has a happy and healthy day. Thanks. Bye.